In this video, we're going to show you how to run firmware updates on any of our remotes and our lights. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obviously download the firmware file from the website. So open up your web browser and go to interfitphoto.com. And in the support tab, there's a drop down, and you'll go down to firmware updates and click that. And what you'll notice is that each one of our products has a unique firmware file. They are not the same, so you wouldn't be able to download uh, the Nikon firmware onto a Canon remote. It just wouldn't work. So you'll want to make sure you download the correct firmware files for the product that you're trying to update. In our case, we are updating a Canon remote and an S1. So I'm going to start with the TTL remote for Canon. Click on that. And you will see two different download links. One link is for Windows, the other is for Mac. So in this case, I'm using a Mac. So I'm going to click download with the Apple symbol next to it. And it's going to download a zipped file. You're going to find that in your downloads. and double click on it to unzip. And with that unzipped, you'll double click to launch the application. And you may get a warning since this is coming from an unknown developer. It's just a warning from Apple. Uh, nothing you need to worry about. You can just click on open and your firmware file should pop up. Next step would be to take the micro USB cable that was included with your remote and plug it first into the computer and take your remote. You want to make sure that the batteries have been removed. So remove the batteries from the remote. Now during this whole process from here on out, you're going to want to hold the power button down. So you hold down on the power button, take the other end of the USB port and insert it into the USB on the side. And once everything's connected, you should see the text in the bottom right corner of the firmware uh, window should say connected and turn green. And you should be able to click start. So you'll click start and you'll see the progress bar fill up. It only takes about three to five seconds. And once that is done, the green text in the bottom should say upgrade is completed. And then you just click disconnect and unplug the cable from the remote and let go of the power button. Uh, from here, you'll want to reinsert the batteries, turn the remote back on, and then to uh, test to see if the firmware update has, has worked, you're gonna press and hold the mode button on the remote, and it should say B08, which is the name of this firmware file, which means the upgrade worked. Okay, so to run a firmware update on the S1, you're first gonna go back through the website and download the S1 firmware file. Once that is downloaded and ready, you're going to start by removing the battery out of your S1. And you just pull off this silver power adjustment knob on the back. That is going to expose the USB port. So you take your cable in one hand and this silver peg here, you're going to press and hold it for this whole process. So you press and hold and insert the USB cable. And just like with the remote, you're going to see uh, the text in the bottom right turn green and say connected. And you'll just hit start over on the left. Three to five seconds, upgrade is complete. Once everything says it's done, click disconnect, unplug the cable, and that should be all there is to it. Replace the silver knob on the back. Insert the battery. And to check to see if it's taken, you press and hold the test button on the back and then turn the light on. And I can see on the back LCD screen it says 2.6, which is the firmware file that I just downloaded. So that I, I know that uh, the firmware update worked and we're ready to go. So there we have it, running firmware updates on our remotes and the S1. If you have any questions on the process, feel free to leave us a comment below. 
And if you would like to be redirected back to our website where you can download the firmware files yourself, click on the link in the description box.